everybody, Mark's Back to Comics, and I'm back. If you want to see my top six or so Star Wars books in the collection, um, potentially books to look out for in 2021, stick around. All right, so uh, let's get into these really cool Star Wars books. Um, unless you haven't noticed already, Star Wars is probably the hottest thing going out right now. Um, as you know, the Mandalorian season wrapped up, uh, late December. They had the big Disney announcement during the investors meeting about all the great Star Wars series, um, coming forward. So there's probably like 10 or so shows. Um, pretty excited for that. If it's going to be anything like the Mandalorian, I'm in. Um, that being said, before we get into that, I want to thank everybody that's recently subscribed to the channel. We just got over the uh, 500 subscriber mark yesterday, so I want to thank everybody who's joined. Uh, thanks for the uh, continued support. I'm going to make the announcement now and say that the uh, live stream is going to happen on Saturday night. I'm aiming at like 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. I'll uh, do like a little uh, screenshot announcement on uh, YouTube, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go live around 8.30 p.m. Um, so I'll do the drawings then. We'll have a good time. We'll hang out and give away some cool books. So um, let's get into these really cool uh, Star Wars books I have in the PC. Um, some of them I've showed before in, in previous hauls and some of them I haven't. Um, the first book I'm going to show is just like as an honorable mention because it's a really cool cover. And um, I believe this book came out a couple of years ago. Um, this was just a pure cover by nothing significant whatsoever. And this is Star Wars issue number 50. This is from the uh, Karen Gillan run. Really just beautiful cover. You can see closely there some of the, um, you know, space drawings there in the background, some of the TIE fighters and whatnot in her dress. There's also a cool um, second printing as well. I think they only made this just because the uh, this book sold out when it came out but it's nowhere near as good as the first cover. The first, second printing is red, which I don't think it does the, um, the cover justice whatsoever, but just a really nice, you know, cover purchase. Not worth anything, it's pretty much cover buy uh, for uh, cover price, sorry. Uh, really cool, honorable mention uh, for the uh, top six. So um, I wanted to make it a top five, but you know, I figured I don't have too many uh, Star Wars books in the collection, so I could uh, definitely narrow it down to six. So, first book. Um, this is Star Wars Tales of the Jedi Dark Lords of the Sith, number one. Um, really neat book. I want to say, uh, what's key about this book? Oh, yeah. So, it's the uh, first appearance of Exar Kun. He's uh, basically a Jedi who became a Dark Lord of the Sith during the uh, times of the old Sith Wars. Um, there are two versions of this book. There's the this version, which came out after. This is the um, regular edition. This one comes with, uh, this is polybagged. They're both polybagged. Um, but basically, from uh, Dark Horse Comics, you can see it's a polybag. It also comes with a nice little uh, trading card there as well. Um, the other edition is the Ashcan, and it'll actually say um, Ashcan right over here instead. That's how you can tell the difference, and the cover is gray. So I'll put a, a little picture there to compare. But um, really cool book. I picked this up for cheap. I want to say three dollars. Um, recently selling for around ten dollars. But uh, a lot of these dark horse books are, you know, picking up a lot of steam. Anything Star Wars related, really, just because of the whole new um, multiverse. I guess if you want to call it multiverse, so un Star Wars universe that they're going to be coming up with. So a lot of these uh, minor keys are going to be picking up some steam going forward. So that's the first um, first book to look out for if you're hunting out in the wild is um, the Tales of the Jedi: Dark Lords of the Sith, number one. Second book. Second book will be Star Wars, let's see, Legacy number one. 
This is from uh, volume two. So you can see on there, there's a cover appearance of uh, Aeneas Solo. She's basically the granddaughter of Han Solo. Oh, sorry, great, great granddaughter of Han Solo. So we're <laughs> going pretty, pretty forward in time. Um, there's also uh, an appearance of uh, Darth Red, which I don't believe is on the cover here. He's a renegade Sith Lord. Um, and there's also a first appearance of, let me read on here, of Yalta Val, an Imperial Knight. Um, didn't pay much for this book. I want to say it paid cover price, which is $2.99. It is from Dark Horse Comics. Um, the last sale on this book was right around $20. So uh, not too bad. All right, next book. I think I just showed this book recently in, in, in my uh, most recent antique haul flea market uh, video. This is Star Wars Crimson Empire 2, number one. This is a one of six series. Um, I believe, yeah, the Council of Blood. There is a, a first appearance in here as well. This is the first appearance of Nam Anur. So I ended up doing some research on this book and I did verify that it is this character's first appearance. Um, I'll put a picture up here next to it to show you. There's not a cover appearance on this book, but um, a really cool uh, villain that's in this story. So uh, if you find this book, pick it up. Um, I picked this up for, I think it was $2. And um, not really selling for much on uh, eBay. The most um, recent sale I wanna say was five bucks, yeah. But a good book to spec on. I, you know, it was me. I love villains. Love picking up villains um, when I can, especially on the cheap. So that's a fun book to look out for. Uh, next book, probably want to say is the priciest book I have on here, is um, Star Wars: Dawn of the Jedi Force Storm number two. So uh, there's a ton of first appearances in this book. Uh, I want to say. This character on here is, is a cover appearance as well. I just don't know who it is. I haven't read the story. But um, let's see. First appearance of Shay Coda is a human journeyer. There's a first appearance of, I want to say, Seknos Wrath, a Sith, a Sith Jedi Ranger, a Jedi. I oh, can't pronounce these correctly. First appearance of Tasha Ryu. Uh, someone who wields the force and the first appearance of Hawk Ryo another Twi'lek Jade Ranger so <laughs> sorry if I butchered some of those names um, I picked this up also for about two dollars most recent sale on this book was it varied I want to say it was around like thirty five dollars there was one that sold for forty nine dollars um, there's not many listed on eBay but um if you, if you do see one in while you're hunting on the cheap, pick this book up. It's actually been selling quite well recently. Um, last two books. Uh, going back to the uh, Star Wars Legacy, that whole run volume one is quite hot. Um, issue number one is going for well over $100 raw. But um, the rest of the issues in the series, I think number one, zero through five is also doing pretty well on the uh, secondary market. Uh, I was able to pick this book up at my uh, local um, comic shop not too long ago. And this is Star Wars Legacy issue number five. And um, this is the uh, second appearance of Darth Nilius. Um, also the first time you see Darth Bane using the uh, Orbilus Gomer. And if you're not familiar with the uh, Orbilisk armor, it's basically a bunch of these, like, um, it's an armor comprised of, like, like these little parasitic um, beings. And then when they bind together, it helps basically um, deflect, like, lightsaber attacks. So it basically makes you impervious to uh, lightsaber attacks, which is really cool. So... Um, not too many people know about this as that first time he, you know, the character uses this armor. Um, not many of these also graded in the uh, CGC uh, census. Um, and the other cool thing I, I did see is when I, when I picked this up in the bins, it's actually signed here by Adam Hughes, which is really cool. It's the first book I've had signed by uh, Adam Hughes, or not personally signed, but 
that I have in the collection. So um, pay 10 bucks for this book, and it's basically you're paying is for the signature at that point, you're paying 10 bucks. And uh, what I find is funny is Adam Hughes has like the most basic signature ever. It's almost like it's a lazy signature. He doesn't want to sign his whole name. He just signs the initials, <laughs> which is pretty funny. But um, a cool book to pick up, you know, it's just a nice cover in general as well. So uh, there's my uh, second to last book. <clears throat> and the uh, final book I want to show off for some cool Star Wars spec pickups for 2021 and beyond is um, Star Wars Lando, <clears throat> excuse me, Double or Nothing, issue number one. And uh, this is a variant. This is the 1 in 25 Quinonos, Quinonins variant. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, Really cool book. Uh, I want to say this came out, I want to say two years ago. Um, Lando is one of my favorite Star Wars characters in the whole like Star Wars universe. I've always liked this character from, you know, the early Star Wars movies. And um, when I found out he was having a, another series come out, this is his second solo series. Um, I had to pick it up and read it. It was actually a pretty, pretty good read. And, um, the, the cover is great. It's a really cool cover. Um, there is a first appearance in here. It's uh, first appearance of L337. It's a interesting droid. And uh, if you weren't already aware, there is going to be a Star Wars droid series coming out in the future. And if it's going to be anything like that really cool battle droid and Mandalorian, I'm in. Uh, so this is a cool book. You can pick this up really cheap right now. Uh, this is the 1 in 25, and it last sold for just under ratio, which isn't bad. And the regular cover A's are selling right for around cover price. So this is a cool book to pick up. Um, so that's that's the last book. So uh, let me know. Do you think these are cool spec books to look out for in uh, 2021 and beyond? Write it down in the comments below. Um, hope to see you all on Saturday night for the uh, 500 subscriber uh, contest giveaway. And uh, until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.